Okay, guys, I'm just barely loading in Theme Park Tycoon 2. Multi-selection support. Port. This update also features a new police skin for the car ride. Oh, that's actually really cool. Higher items per cell limit for various items and save game sizes and now be up to three megabytes. That's so cool. Let's go. So now we literally don't even have to worry about the megabyte size in our park unless you're making such a humongous park that it's going to reach it. Okay, here we go. We're going to load in a park and start just kind of exploring this multi-selection tool. Actually, let's just load in Super Nintendo the world and see what we can build with the multi-selection tool in super nintendo world so if you haven't been following around in my channel i have this super nintendo world park that i'm building and it's a series i'm on like on episode 13 or something so make sure to go check that series out it's actually kind of cool and i'm gonna be finishing the entire park pretty soon so pretty excited for that but we just barely finished making an entire firework and like light show for this place so make sure to go check that video out but let's see this copy and paste tool okay let's say i wanted to copy and paste one of these little mushroom things right here so i don't even know how it works oh that's not how it works okay i need to like figure out how this works because i am incapable of doing the copy and paste tool here we go so multiple items can now be selected using the select tool for keyboard users hotkeys are available see advanced usage via the settings menu require a key and mouse to or touch screen to use a selection of multiple items cannot be copied deleted or cut oh you can even cut them um allowing you for example copy multiple items to another area in your park this is supported for the majority of items in the game so it's not going to be for all items yet this will copy links between items as well such as connected triggers or connections between teleporters requires a keyboard and mouse or touch screen to use and you can even like group and ungroup items really quickly you can double press an item that is grouped to select a single item instead of the entire group requires keyboard and mouse now the co-builders can be granted limited building permissions instead of being able to build whatever they want in your part with that it's actually so cool you can edit co-builders i'm gonna get somebody in my game and see how i can edit their co-building but before we get someone in to see how we can edit their co-building let's finish seeing what is new to this update oh my goodness there is so many things added to this update the inverted powered dark red coaster now supports stations with non-zero seat rotation you can now hide mission indicators using the hide disable mission in indicators okay okay we can hide the mission indicators which actually helps a lot because i was seeing that like riding my mario kart ride i could literally see the mission indicator it was kind of awkward so i'm glad you can now hide those i did various overall limits for various special items typically parks are unlikely affected by this okay and then the save game size is three megabytes for owners with the extra expansions plots game pass which is so cool oh and so this is like the items per cell so like every little box now you can put more items and so the three megabytes kind of helps with that because now you can place more items and now the file size is bigger perfect okay now i just want to see how this copy and paste tool works so let's go to hockeys and see how it works so this is all the copy and paste tool so multi-select mode is control and hold control box select mode is holding shift box multi-select mode is control shift destroy is delete Copy is control C. Copy and enter precision mode is control shift C. Oh my goodness, there are so many. So group is control G and then ungroup is control shift G. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try it. <gasps> whoa guys, whoa, we can select it. Oh, well we can do this, that's so cool. So now we can literally select like this entire mushroom thing. Wait, how do I move him now? Whoa, what in the world guys? That is insane. Now I can copy that entire thing anywhere I want to. I literally could have done that for my Mario Kart like piranha plants. Like look over here, look over here. And for these little bomb things, I could have done that. Oh my goodness, this is gonna save everybody's lives right here. I could have copy and pasted the entire side of the Mario Kart ride onto the other side. Well, I guess I don't think you can rotate the copy and paste tool, can you? The most items you can pick is 250 items, which I think is a good amount of items. Like, I don't need to select more than 250 items a lot of the time. So let's look at the piranha plant and see how I can copy and paste them. What if I didn't want these right here? Oh, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to have to, like, figure out how the keys work. I just don't want a couple of these selected. Yeah, I just want to know how to take out something from the selection while keeping everything else. Control shift G. Okay, I know how to do this now. So we're going to select this entire thing right here and then control shift G for anything I don't want. 
Oh, maybe not. I'm so confused, everybody. What? How do I take out things from the selection? Because when I select this piranha plant, I don't want the wall in the background to also be selected. So I'm just wondering how I take out the, the ground and the wall. Oh, I can also go control shift hold and i can pick certain items like if i wanted to pick this i can just add more stuff that is so cool okay so i can add items separately like this which i mean it's still not that bad i'm just gonna try to do that with the piranha plant and see what it looks like i cannot miss a single piece though so this is kind of hard this is gonna take more time than i expected it to but let's try doing it with the multi-selection and then like deselecting stuff from there i mean doing even just the piece by piece is way faster still than building the entire thing again so i'm not complaining about this one okay here we go i selected the entire thing now let's see if where i can move it oh wait i actually can rotate it i did miss some of the pieces but i literally can rotate the entire thing okay i'm gonna try this again so i'm gonna select the entire thing but also even if it selects other stuff i can literally just unselect it like delete it later when i do paste it but i want to try this okay here is the precision mode multi-selection so i accidentally did select the floor and the wall but i think that's like the only other thing i accidentally selected so basically i'm just gonna place it and then delete the wall and the floor but this is so cool and you can even like rotate it too if i wanted to rotate it any direction i could literally just have placed another one of these piranha plants just right there and just multi-selected it that is actually really nice right there uh oh guys i accidentally actually placed it uh okay so that's what it looks like i just literally copy and pasted that thing right there that is so cool but that is the gist of the copy and paste tool you can do Control shift c if you want to go right into precision mode after you copy something so if i want to go into like a box copy like this and then do Control shift c I cannot do it because there's a coaster that I accidentally selected actually. Let's go outside and do it or maybe right here. What if I want this coral? So let's let's grab the coral. So if I just hold control then I can do item per item which is not that bad honestly. Look at this. I can do it so much easier than just building the item. Okay, here we go. I selected all of the items now and now I can press control shift C. And now I literally have precision mode for the coral right there. So I could have copy and pasted this one coral anywhere I wanted. I think that is a game changing update to the Bird Titan 2. Also, don't forget to buy some of the Kizzy merch. I have an entire store and I honestly like the quality of all of the merch and like the embroidery. The quality is actually so good. You won't regret buying it. I promise you. Okay, guys, I'm going to see how the editing build permissions work. So we're going to select not me to add. And so he has a budget. What? Bro, we can make super cool youtube videos in the bar taking two with a budget now okay that is sick a budget that is insane i yes absolutely and the highest you can make the budget is t a million i think so it's not too bad yeah i don't think anyone's gonna be spending a million in one little build session but let's keep going over here can configure anything so basically with this off they can't edit items that i've built before so they can literally they can't destroy any of this or change any of it at all that is so cool all they can do is build new stuff which yes okay so this without this they can only remove stuff they built themselves which is actually really cool because now they won't if we're doing a build battle they will not be able to delete stuff that any other of the people made which is literally game changing we will be able to make build battles without having to worry about it one bit and then this is editing terrain and water if this isn't on they can't edit terrain and water in my park so that is actually really cool i am excited for this i am so glad oh and you can do unlimited budget okay that makes sense unlimited budget is reasonable right there and then it tells you how much they've spent so that is the add builder mode also this is not me in the server go subscribe to not me i guess thanks for watching this update video i hope you enjoyed it i think this is probably the best update we've ever had now we can do build battles without having to worry about anything and we can literally copy and paste stuff which is gonna change everything the way i literally build and there's also a new police car or whatever and then the item limit per box it's higher so you can now put more items in one little little cell thank you dennis so much for this awesome update if you want to keep watching more videos make sure to check these out right here on the screen thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video